If you've been paying attention at all to the gaming peripheral scene, then it should come as no surprise that Razer has just been killing it with release after release of new products and updated versions of existing favorites. Now that brings us to today's video where we're going to be checking out the new Ornata V2. Now I do have one of these to give away to one of my subscribers, but of course I'll have all the details on that at the end of the video. For now, let's check this thing out. Starting as always with construction and design, the Ornata V2 remains largely unchanged with a few minor variations here and there. The Ornata V2 is a full-size mechanical membrane hybrid that's made up entirely of plastic. Like the original, the same matte textured surface makes a return which does an excellent job at hiding fingerprints. In terms of build quality, I noticed that there's definitely less flex in this board when trying to twist and bend it in my hands, but the overall weight feels exactly the same as the old one. And like the original Ornata, the board looks virtually identical with its low-profile half-height keys floating over the translucent membrane. The Ornata was the first Razer keyboard to include their soft magnetic wrist rests, which have now become the standard across most of their keyboards. The wrist rest remains completely unchanged in my eyes from the original. It looks and feels and has the same makeup of the pillowy padding that's wrapped up in a leatherette material. There's also an embossed Razer logo in the center of the wrist rest, which is about as much branding as you're going to find on this keyboard. I really appreciate that the wrist rest is a good size, it comes out from the board a good length making it sizable enough to accommodate any hand size, and the magnets do a good job of holding the wrist rest on the board, keeping it in place even when lifting the board off the desk. The first major change you've probably noticed already with the V2 is the addition of the three dedicated media keys and the scroll wheel. Razer's migrated the LED indicators to just above the arrow cluster which falls in line with a lot of their other current keyboards to make room for the media keys. You get a simple yet functional set of back, play, pause, and skip buttons with a textured, clickable, infinitely scrolling plastic scroll wheel. There's a light tactile feeling in the scroll wheel that lets you know you're doing work, but not enough to make precise movements with it very easy. The scroll wheel certainly gets the job done, but I would have liked to have seen it a little bit more substantial. I do think it's pretty cool though that the LEDs under the scroll wheel will get progressively dimmer as you lower the volume, ultimately hitting red when you go on mute. The Ornata uses Razer's Mecha Membrane Switches, which is a hybrid between a traditional membrane keyboard with the sound and tactility of a clicky mechanical keyboard. As you might expect, because of this, the Ornata is probably the most polarizing product that Razer makes. The Mecha Membrane Switch provides a feeling that is certainly all its own. Imagine the crisp tactile clicky feeling of a Razer Green Switch on the top end, with the soft squish of a membrane keyboard on the bottom end. The key press is snappy yet light, around 45 to 50 grams I'd say, and compared to a clicky mechanical switch, the Ornata is going to give you a much quieter experience, giving you a soft click without the loud bottom out. And in my testing of the V2, I noticed a pretty significant improvement to the action of the Mecha Membrane switches. On the old board, if I tapped very lightly on a key, I could make it click without it registering in the computer. I was not able to do this with the V2, and not synchronizing the click with the actuation in the computer really breaks the illusion here and takes away from your feeling of precise control, so I'm glad to see that they resolved this issue. Also keep in mind that because these don't work like traditional mechanical switches, you will not be able to get other keycap sets to replace the keys on this keyboard. Now quickly I'm going to give you guys a quick sound comparison between the Ornata Mecha Membrane keys and a traditional Razer Green switch. Looking at the lighting, the Ornata has full per-key RGB and of course has the full power of Razer Synapse behind it to allow you to sync your lighting across peripherals, create custom effects, and use that sweet in-game integration that Razer does so well. I've always thought the Ornata was Razer's best looking keyboard in terms of raw lighting power. The translucent membrane under the keys does a superb job at capturing and distributing the light, and if you were to solely base your decision on a keyboard based around its lighting, I would have to rank this as one of the best. The font on the Onata V2 is clean and simple, and all of the keys are very well illuminated. 
Looking at the underside of the keyboard, there are a few minor changes here. On the V2, we see the inclusion of two-step extendable legs, which are a little bit beefier than the original's one-step legs, and the cable channel routes the three options up out of the top of the keyboard rather than out of the sides like the original. Now onto some positive and negatives. On the negative side, I'm not in love with the scroll wheel. It gets the job done, but I think it could have been a lot better. But that's pretty much it. The Ornata has a lot going for it. Bright, vibrant lighting, better feeling mecha membrane keys if you're into that sort of thing, a plush, nice feeling wrist rest, and better construction. Overall, the Ornata V2 makes some noticeable improvements over the original design, but for those of you that own the original, does it do enough to warrant an upgrade? To that, I would say probably not. Now, for me personally, you guys know that I am a big mechanical keyboard guy, so the mecha membrane keys in this board just aren't my cup of tea, but that's not to say that it won't be to a bunch of other people's taste. So who is this keyboard for ultimately? Why spend hundred bucks on this keyboard when you could get something like a Ducky 1-2 Mini, for example? And to that, I would say, it's all down to your priorities, my friend. The Ornata V2 is a great choice for people looking for a fully featured, full-size gaming keyboard, but don't want to spend over a hundred bucks. It's also a decent alternative for those that want a quiet alternative to mechanical switches, but also still want a little bit of click in their life. The Ornata V2 isn't for everyone, but for those who really enjoy the feel of membrane keyboards or are just interested in the hybrid keys, it's sure to be a positive experience. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I do have one of these to give away to one of my subscribers. All you have to do is obviously be subscribed to this channel and hit me up in the comments down below. One comment per entry, please do not spam the comment section. I will be able to check and disqualify people that just blow up the comment section. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Brainbean Gaming if you guys want to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel. But as always, guys, stay safe out there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.